All right, so here's part two of the job. It's for the Living Desert, African Safari, Rhinoceros Action. So I already did the previous video and files I sent for the smaller version here. The Cricket Bat. So now we got this bigger boy here. So this one's a little more involved. Um, it's got a couple of panels up front and it has basically a fabricated kind of blade sign-ish thing with some flat cutout letters. So let's, uh, let's get cracking on it. So you're going to have 090 skin and you've got 090 jiggies here. You got some 063 frame because this thing has to kind of bend in the corner. So the whole frame is going to be out of 063. Um, we're going to have a kind of a large, basically a, a Mjolnir, another sort of version of the one you just did for the little guy. It's just going to be a lot bigger. And so those are the parts for that. And here's the parts for the two blades sort of look like bunny ears. huh? So, and then you have a single plate. Look out for this plate. That's for the bottom of the ice cream sandwich blade sign there. And just half inch acrylic, flat cutouts, uh, 1024 tapped. So again, kind of, this is very similar to what you just saw on the little guy, except the site, like I say, the site profile is just a little wider and there's a, a larger footprint for this thing to have the two um, bunny ear blades um, mount, to the, mount to the foot there. So you can see where the orange is there and the green is here. They're sort of staggered and it kind of causes this plate to be sort of large. And then the main plate for the, for the big sign will be in the back there. So, so let's start breaking it down. Um, just the rabbit ears, these gussets, look for these gussets here. These gussets are the same for all of them. You're just going to line up, you know, number two goes for two face goes forward. Um, this one goes right in there. And then these two will go on both sides and just like that. And you're just going to burn them. So just burn those real good. And the little guy over here, look for number one and number one. Same thing. Same gussets. The gussets are the same. And uh, just go ahead and burn it really good. And those are done. So the rabbit ears, just get those taken care of. While we're on quarter inch, this is going to be like a giant, you know, meal near here. So you've got three by three. There's your cut. So you'll have a 30 inch piece of three by three. And you will have a single piece of two by two. Um, that's for up there. So, but while we're down here, let's look at these Mjolnirs. So you'll have three of these guys or six of these guys. These guys are, um, are, uh, typical. So they're exchangeable and they're symmetrical. So these are the vertical or the horizontals here. And then you'll have two long longitudinal ones that run and that creates a little pocket and you're going to slide the, the three by slides right in there, right in that pocket and you'll just burn it. Um, so these are all interlocking. They just interlock to each other, hit the, hit the dog bones. Again, you have a left and a right sort of as you look at it from the front. So I flip this thing over. So the bottom will have all the dog bones. Plus you will have your um, half inch by 13 aluminum nuts to weld into. So look for that. So you'll have two on the front here. You'll have two on the front here. And then you have six in the back for the main piece. You'll have a cutout. Look for this cutout here. This will allow for relief for sticking the two by two through. And you'll see, we'll get to that here in a sec. But anyway, so just like any other Mjolnir, lock it all together, tack it and then burn it and, uh, and then burn in your nuts real good there. So um, that's pretty straightforward. You've got these taken care of. So we'll just move up. So this guy here, um, you're going to have 090 jigs, but you're going to have a 063 frame the, we haven't done this quite this yet. Like normally I would put teeth, but because these are so sharp that I'm just going to go ahead and leave those toothless. And it's, since it's 063, you should be able to wrap those pretty, pretty well. I also um, went ahead and brought the jig in around a 0.01. So that way it'll allow this to kind of, you know, just, just kind of get it where it fits, you know, get it in, get in where it fits in. So you know that this will be 063 higher and this will be 063 higher, which means this will be sticking up 063 in comparison to the 09. If you feel like if you should be able to get your gun in there from the inside, but if you have to, you can maybe just do a little tack right here on the outside, build it up, but just make sure you don't ruin this edge too much. And then you can kind of sand it. But main thing is when you go to Lords on the faces, just build up a bunch of Lords right here. Cause like I say, this will be a 16th up. That'll be a 16th up and this will be a 16th up. 
So you can kind of just fill it in and float. But I went ahead and lift, left these toothless to give sort of the, the maximum sort of tight because this is kind of a tight radius. So I didn't think we needed teeth. So this whole right side and the whole left side is in one piece. So um, we haven't done it like this before. So I'm interested to see. Hopefully it all works out. Um, so it should work though. So, and then you have a little bit there where you can, you can get your gun in there and kind of tack that together. You can see where that overlaps a little bit. So put your gun in there and kind of bring that seam together. Um, and then, like I say, the right side, it all fits there. Um, th these are not symmetrical. The angle of the left side is a little different than the right. So all of your right side jigs and anything with an R on it needs to stay on the right. And that is based on, you know, looking at it from the front. So right to the right, left to the left. But just make sure that all these jigs are on the proper side. Um, you'll see that the jigs are all marked properly and stuff like that. So anyway, so get all that tacked together like we do. No big deal. And then the way I see this is you're going to slide that two by two through first. Again, here's your cut list. So you're going to slide that little there. What's up, Edgar? You're going to slide that through. And then I would say that you would leave about a one inch stick out. It's not, you know, super important, just as long as it's past this a little bit, you know, so you can get in there and tack it. You'll see that your uh, pieces, your, your main, you know, cross pieces have clearance for that bar to go through. Again, keep your rights to the right and keep your lefts to the lefts because the angles and the way the holes, you can see where this hole is not perfectly centered. Um, this again, because it's not symmetrical, there is a light, a right and a left. So make sure you get these crossbars in there the right way. Um, but anyway, so get the frame made and then I'm thinking you slide this tube in first and don't, don't weld it yet, but get it about an inch and a quarter out because then you can slide the bottom plate on and that leaves it about an inch from the bottom plate out. So the idea will be the bottom plate out of quarter inch will have, um, I got 0.193 Clecos. So I'm saying slide this through, leave it cold and then go ahead and Lords on the plate, slide it on. And have your gun handy and then while the lords is still wet go ahead and burn this really well around the the two inch to the quarter inch plate burn that really well um, and then while you have your gun go ahead and um, tack and burn you know as needed to the 063 frame but of course this is going to be pretty tight but then that's going to give this thing the rigidity it needs that once you attach this quarter inch plate to your mule near down here that'll give it its you know its sort of lateral strength in case somebody wants to lean against it or something and it isn't just relying on 063 down here so once you're done um, attaching the base to this plate this is how wide the plate will be so and then all of these things so once you get this plate lords and welded and everything to the um, bottom of this sign then you'll be attaching everything with half inch um half inch by 13 thread, you know, inch and a half will probably be fine. So just like the other sign, everything is just through bolted once it's all said and done. And again, the reason why we're doing this is because all these need to be painted um, really intricately. So that way this all comes apart and can be painted and, you know, assembled and everything. And then once it all goes back together, it'll all go back together once it's, uh, once it's all, you know, all done. So when you go to, so you get the frame built and get this slid in, get the bottom thing lords on. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. So get that slid in, get the bottom lords on, get that burnt, get it all taken care of. Then you can go ahead and seal it up. So the face will go on completely as one piece and lords it all on there. Um, I went ahead because the, the flat cutouts are all a weird size. So this F is not this F. So I went ahead and, and because, you know, it'd be random holes. I went ahead and just had this um, reference kissed for you so that way you can kind of tell. And then the A on the flat cutouts will match the A that you need to put there. So that way when it comes time to assemble this, you're not like scratching your head wondering, you know, which A goes where. So when you're looking at it um, from the back, uh, once you have the access door open, you'll be able to tell really quickly which A goes where and line up the, line up the holes. Um, the backer though is in pieces. We are gonna leave basically this door open. So the middle part of this is removable to get to these letters. Um, but the top go ahead and lords that on and the bottom go ahead and lords that on. So, and then just leave these, uh, leave the back panel removable for yourself. So once everything's all painted, 
they are looking for on the work order. They're calling out for three quarter spacers. I know that we have the whole red bucket over there on the rack. You should be able to find some number 10 by three quarters in there. I'm confident. If not, then bring some in or let me know. But I'm pretty sure if we dig around, we should be able to find ourselves. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Pick that. And then we're going to go ahead and see how many we need. I'm looking at 43. So you'll need, you know, 43 of these little doodads. So I'm sure you can find some cutoff or some standoffs. So, but when it comes time to assemble, number 10s, 1024s, put them in there. So, um, but I think that's it. I think that's uh, kind of lays it all out. Uh, make the frame, get the jiggy there. Let's see, you got that, you know, slide that through, lords this on, burn that all in one piece. Then once you have that welded, I'm just, like I said, that, that has a clearance for right here. So when you go to put this together, it shouldn't be have any conflicts. And so, like I say, that black will be the plate there. The front one will be this rabbit ear. And then this one here will be that rabbit ear. And then um, install can go ahead and probably uh, put it all as in one piece. I don't think this needs to go in first and then try to fight the dirt and then bolt it together. So uh, for install, I went ahead and made, I'm going to send this over. Uh, I made a little sheet for you to follow. So the two cricket bat ones from previous are eight inches down, roughly 30 inches in. And then this guy here, because he's got a little bit more here and just want it to be stronger in case somebody leans against it, the same eight inches plus or minus down. And then this one's closer to 38, 40 inches. So you should be able to kind of dig around and give yourself a bag of concrete or something in there. So, but I'll send this over to install. But uh, anyway, I think that should do it. If there's any other questions, uh, hit me up.